Oh, look at that. <clears throat> Taking a moment here. Enjoy the this pixel world. I want to go back right quick. It's just. Oh, look, there's another little wisp. Glad I went back. To the north, the path crests and descends into a hollow. The camp lies to the east, and you hear a river gurgle from the west. I want to look at the wisp. You've seen these more regular, regularly recently. Once you even asked your mother about them, she'd given you a curious look, then told you to get back to shelling peas. Hmm. There it goes. I would love to get a Switch port. They made a Wii U port, so why not a Switch port? They sure did. They even... Was it a port or... I thought it was remastered, too. Oh, it's HD. They made it in HD. Yet again, gotta give a moment for the music design. Really gives you that beginning of a new adventure feeling. It does. It does. There's kind of that... Uh, whatever that hoot thing is. It kind of makes me think of the... um. A sound you hear in um, Stardew. I love the scene. The river and the obviously the uh, the willow tree. Love it. Yeah, it's definitely an owl. Am I the only one that wishes that um, we had more games like this? <laughs> Are there two rivers? Uh, maybe. We see one at the moment. Let's do a little save right quick. Game saved. Are we going to be able to cross? Can we interact with the river? The river is swift, deep, and ice cold from winter runoff. Attempting to swim across would be a mistake. Hmm. They sure don't make them like this anymore. You're right, they sure don't. The bent old willow weeps its green tears into the stream. I love willow trees. I definitely did save. Well, not this way. It would be neat, but looking at the game space right now, there's not a huge demand for this stuff. I would love to see some more games like this in the future, though. You know, you got a point there. You do got a point. Hmm. <laughs> Completely missed this. Oh. Spoopy. You examine the monument. It dates from the Cycle War. Armies of the Summer and Winter Aldor fought here, it seems. Legend has it they destroyed each other and very nearly destroyed Telwin. Telwina? In the process. The path descends into a hollow, lined by ancient rotting trees and the graves of the long deceased. The mist is thick here, the air heavy. <laughs> That's not intimidating whatsoever. Uh, looks like another dead end though. Hmm. 
see the spoop, spoopy tree. The ancient long dead tree stretches its claws over the hollow. Hmm. <coughs> oh. Our party members left. <coughs> I think it's the, the lady that joined us. Um. I forgot this guy's voice. Otar? Well, lad. Um, what should we do? Well, I'm keeping my eyes on Drissa. Don't trust her. Not a bit. And, uh, where is she? Well, I can't watch her all the time. Korok wouldn't abide me trying... <coughs> tying her up just so I could empty my bladder. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Why did you choose to come with us? Well, the tavern burned down. Think I'm going to stay in that backwater with nothing to drink? <laughs> I under completely understand, Otar. Completely understand. Besides, I kind of got attached to you and the lass. Young Wit, well, I feel for the boy. Spooled though he be, but I don't find the humor everyone else sees in his mischief and trickery. You try to hide a smile at the memory of Otar chasing Wit through the square. Harvest br Hunting, trailing from his horns. The description on vis um, visuals are also on point. So far, I like the game with the expectation of all the lore dumping. I agree with you. <laughs> the The lore dumping is for sure <laughs> kind of it's, it's it's heavy. I wish we um had like a lore book that we could look at. Pull it open and kind of a log book that we can look at. Um, this is a disaster. Oh. Don't lose your nerve. Nothing's changed. Stick to the plan. Who's she talking to? Of course it's changed. We need to act now. That upland, the uplander will prove trouble. Shh. What do you want, farm boy? Uh, didn't see or hear shit. Don't worry about me. I want to save right quick. Yeah. <laughs> Violence does not become you, okay? Um. I'll interact with her. Ah. Oh, who were you talking to? I was talking to myself. Mind your own business. But. Don't you have. Don't you have sheep to herd? She pulls her cloak closer. Pushes past me and stalks back to the clearing. What is she up to? I don't know if we should trust her. Her, her little dwarf companion, though. Plan. Who's she? I, I don't hear anything. <laughs> Ooh. <coughs> Didn't hear shit. Uh, pen? Whip? Whip staggers in... Oh, I, I completely missed him there. Staggers into view, crashing through the brambles to the southwest of the clearing. Whip! Lad, where have you been? Yeah, Otar. Otar is his name. <laughs> I forgot his name. I'm with Otar. Don't trust this person at all. Where have you been? Your friend looks up, lifts his hand towards you, then crumbles to the ground. They're dropping like flies. Wit, what happened? You run into his, run to his side, and with the help of Otar, turn him over. Your hands come away sticky with blood. <coughs> Mother's breath. This is a dagger wound, no doubt from the same as sliced open Aldar. Wit, where's Tammy? No good. He's out cold. 
Cut ain't too deep. I could stop the bleeding, but his color I don't much like. Tanny would know what to do. She's good with healing. She's out there somewhere, poor lass. Pin, keep an eye on that one for me. He glares at Drissa, then wheels around and stalks off into the forest. <laughs> there must... <coughs> There's a tickle in my throat. There must be something I can do for you. Hmm... What about the mud from our golem friend here? Cork? What is it, dear? Oh, appreciate it. Appreciate it. I would love some tea. Do you want the rest of my juice? Juice. I think it's drying my throat. Yes, it is. <laughs> so as much as I. Uh, uh, yeah, as much as I love my juice. Oh, yeah. <coughs> oh, Lord. Look at this. That is a lot of conversing. Oh. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry about the Aldor. We have both known her only a day, yet I have known her for a lifetime. You look down at your feet, unsure what to say. Right there with you, friend. I, I'm the same way. I, I never know what to say to um, con con console. Yeah, I just I just never know what to say. You look down at your feet, unsure what to say. Thank for your thank you for your help in the willow den. I didn't get a chance to say so before. It was a violent birth I had, indeed, dear. But the very earth reviles the shadow fell as you do. To defend against them is in my very nature. What was it like being summoned? It was like waking from a deep sleep. It's cold. Ooh, thank you. An old soul I was. Aldor Dwin drew me in, gave me body, gave me breath. No different than an Aldor did for you and the womb of your mother. Our body is so new. Our body is so new when the spring elder brings us breath and soul. We have no memory of it. How curious, dear. I'm a good listener, yet I can't get... Same. I'm, I'm more of a listener than a talker. I'm actually the silent person in a conversation. Well, especially if I'm, um, I don't know, um, someone. Though, once I do start knowing someone and start to get more comfortable around people, I let my, um, I don't let it, it just, it just happens. My, um, become a goblin, almost like a goblin. I, st I say some shit. Some shit is said. How curious, dear. What do you think we should do now? I must stay with the Aldor. This body and breath are bound to help, or bound to her. For you, dear, I cannot say. I do not think as you. Time will pass for us. That is all. Can you do anything for my friend? The earth has healing in it. I know of it. I could mix a salve that will aid with this fever. Please, anything you can do. You must bring me some, some things, all right? Of course. A crimson... I'm going to say that's crimson carrot. Grave wart. And some honey to help it go down. I'll write that down. I don't know these ingredients. I know how to find honey, but what are these other ingredients? Well, I'm going to guess that the grave wart... Graveyard? A crimson carrot? Grave wart... Yes, but what do they look like? She shrugs her enormous shoulders. She doesn't either. They are names given by men. I only know they are of the forest. You sense you won't get more from her than that. All right. Oh, what is... Oh, is that the list? Okay, 
guess we can look at the list. Okay, it's good to know. Same here. Once I open up someone, they're stuck with me. Drissa, what do you want, farm boy? I don't like Drissa. What do you think happened? That I would like to know as much as you. Can I ask you why you keep your face hidden? Not gonna answer. It was not my idea to journey with you. Your elder thought it a good idea, however. She respected my wish to remain hidden and expected you to do so as well. Well, the elder's dead. I honestly don't care about your wish. Me? Uh, what do you think we should do now? I don't see much sense in losing ourselves in the forest in the dark. It's not long till dawn, and if you're half the tracker you boasted, you'll not have much trouble, trouble picking up the trail of six horses and our little lost sheep. Can you do anything for my friend? Healing is unfortunately not one of my talents. No help at all. <clears throat> Okay. We need to find grape warp, honey, and crimson carrot. Uh, the honey is over here. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Sure, a friend. You think about taking the bow, but you're no archer, not like Wit. He'd won the harvest tourney every year since he was old enough to enter. You could match every shot given us a sturdy sling and a nice smooth stone mind. Hmm. <coughs> well, he's gonna He has no use of it right now. Hmm. Or there's anything in the cart. You find a piece of dark, glassy stone in the back of the cart. Alright. I thought I would just check. I don't think there's anything in this screen. Or here. Well, we know where the honey is. Oh, wait a minute. What's that? Something crimson colored. Something bright and red catches your eye. And you reach into the... Probably not going to end well. Ah, just an evil looking toadstool. Probably kills at first bite, but uh, you all might be hungry enough to take the chance soon. Okay. Um, maybe you could throw the rock at the honey or the beehive. Oh, that's flint. Okay. Can we slice it? You don't want to blunt your dagger cutting that. Okay. You make an attempt to climb, but the trunk is wet with dew, and the branch is too high to reach. Kind of figured that. You cannot reach the hive up there. The bees would surely have something to say about it if you could. Hmm. What is this? Ah, oh, striking the flint with her dagger throws a bright yellow spark. would have given you this dagger on your 16th harvest, fine steel, and more than you, your own family could ever have afforded. Okay, flint. Hmm. Lighting the oak on fire won't solve anything. <laughs> hmm. All right, let's let's go to the graveyard. Obviously, missing something here. Unless I can, 
I doubt I can roll the log. <laughs> Otar, what are you doing up there? Pindar, think the first. What are you doing up there? What does it look like I'm doing? <laughs> Pretending to be a bat? Smart ass. Are you, are you going to spin all... That's not the right voice. <coughs> Excuse me. So are you Rand, right? Are we Rand Althor? The Dragon Reborn? Are you going to spend all day cracking jokes or get me down from here? Oh, and our friend that was stabbed is, is Matt Cawthon. Um, what should we do now? What you should do is get me. What you should do is get me out of this winter-loving tree. How did you get up there? That Drissa, she's behind this. She's probably laid traps all over the forest to do, do us in. <coughs> I've not seen any traps, and I've just been this way. Well, aren't you lucky? How about getting me down? <coughs> I should probably stop doing that voice. How am I going to get you down? It's a little hard to think when you're swinging upside down, ten feet in the air, Pindar. I could use Wit's bow. I've seen you try and use a bow. No, thank you. Wit's the archer. You're the climber. There's Drissa. Not on your life. I'd prefer you leave me up, up here. <laughs> Do not let her see you up there, right? <laughs> he has a little minotaur, isn't he? Um, we're gonna... Can we take your axe? What are you doing? Tea is steeping. Thank you, Casey. <laughs> Help is on the way, dear. <laughs> Just borrowing it. Don't you touch that axe! Huh? What are you gonna do about it? You're... <laughs> I'm warning you, laddie. Put that back right this instant. <laughs> You're not gonna be able to do anything about it. <clears throat> um... Dead grass sprouts from the base of a stone monument. Hmm... Okay, grave wart. Lighting stuff on fire. It's not going to solve any anything. Uh, okay. You might get Otar down that way, given enough time, but then he'd kill you for misusing his axe. Hmm. All right, Otar. We'll be back. Maybe you can. Hmm. Where's our sling, by the way? They keep mentioning the sling. I see it. I see what we need to do. Take his axe. With a few swings of Otar's mighty axe, the tree lets out a, a creak and a fall. Oh, hydrate. Thank you, Casey. Ah, oh, sweet, sweet agua. Ha ha! Now we're making some progress. All right. Huh. Interesting. Looks like there's a, a, a staff up there of some sort. You're getting the hang of this one better than the space one. Yeah, for sure. Um, this one kind of makes more sense to me than the, the space one. That and if, um, watching you play um, Torn's Passage has helped. And um, watching the Game Grumps play some of their, um, their games. Hmm, what is this? 
The piece of blue fabric seems embedded into the very rock. This is Tanny's soul stole. Hmm. You spot Eldorus Dwin's staff high up on the cliff face, wedged into a crack. How did that get up there? Uh, when Dan plays something for Sierra? Yes. When Dan plays something Sierra related. Hmm. <laughs> You try to pull the stole free, but it's like it's melted in the very rock itself. You cannot get it free short of cutting it. I'm sure I can't do that. Can you cut it? Yeah, I'll try to use the axe. Can't use the... Wait, what is that? <laughs> this is what I just picked up. You're certain the piece of cloth is from Tenny's stole. Good spring wine cotton. What was it doing embedded into a cliff so solid um, cliff face? Hmm. <laughs> Got it. Thinking. Calculating. Throw something at the staff? Maybe. No, not that. It's the flint. To knock it loose? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, but I don't know if... We have a little mushroom thing. Okay, we have our dagger. Our shopping list, um, pretty much. Flint. Toadstool. Um, That's our little fire we made. The the axe and the cloth. Hmm. We may have to come back. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Maybe come back. <clears throat> Maybe we need to go back with the cloth to the camp. You wrap your hand on the old log with a dull, hollow thud. Hmm. <clears throat> you decide to keep the cloth to yourself. What about the log, Casey? Axel, yeah, I tried that. Um, we could try again. He wouldn't forgive me if I misused it. <clears throat> you can't use the cloth on the beehive. <clears throat> yeah, I tried the axe on the log. No luck. Go back to the camp. We really need that bow. Hmm. Oh, maybe we could use the cloth on... You don't want to make it worse. You reach out your hand and Karak lets out a warning rumble. Okay. I don't know. Drissa? What do you want, farm boy? Oh, nothing there. Here. Yes, this is Crimson Carrot. Okay. I, I'm stumped, guys. I'm stumped. F1. Hmm. 
Hmm. And it's just the controls. Wow, somehow, right? It said something about checking out a walkthrough. I'm missing something. Where was the walkthrough? It just said to, let's see. For a walkthrough, check the README text in the install directory. <clears throat> How long are we going, by the way? 2.30? It's in the files? Yeah, it's in the files. I'm definitely not going to be closing the game just to... Yeah, that's what I was thinking. We're going to take a quick break, find out what we should be doing. Um, thanks everyone for hanging out with me. Yeah, we'll, we'll be right back. I'm going to get my tea. We'll figure this out. I think we'll be able to complete this um, by the end.